Hello everybody and welcome to the Elite Dangerous live stream. We are here, of course, tonight to talk all about... Okay, we're, we're get it. it's getting silly already. I tried to come in here and do a reasonable professional start to the live stream and then we have a floating head up here looking <laughs> down upon me. Uh, but hi everybody, how's it going? Thank you so much for joining us here tonight. Tonight, what an exciting time it is, we're going to be talking uh, to these lovely developers at the either side of me, sort of. Um, about Elite Dangerous Beyond. Beyond is nearly upon us, which is super, super exciting, which is essentially series or season three of Elite Dangerous, which is free to all owners of Elite Dangerous and Elite Dangerous Horizons. Of course, the things uh, pertaining to Elite Dangerous Horizons will of course be locked off to those who own Elite Dangerous Horizons and, and so on. And that will be explained in the coming week <laughs> while we explain it here on this live stream series. So tonight, uh, I'm talking to lead designer Sandro Samarco. What a wonderful hat you have on there, sir. How are you? Really exciting. Very good. <laughs> you are, you are. I'm really exciting. Okay. Uh, no, it's great. Take, take it's a awesome. shot. And above me, floating up here, hi there, is uh, Adam burke Waite, the oh, uh, great writer. I pronounced your name correctly yeah. this time, first time. So Adam is actually in the room with us, but Adam, of course, will be, well, we're going to be talking about wing missions later on and Adam, uh, one of the uh, people who designed wing missions and how they work, yep. mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure we'll give a shout out to everybody involved. Uh, please do remember that it is a large team of people who work on Elite Dangerous and these two are just idiot representatives who have somehow agreed to come along. Sandy's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <clears throat> well thank you. And I will get back to work soon. And thank you everybody for coming along. My name's Ed, and I'm part of the community management team here at Frontier Developments. If you don't know who I am, hello. Uh, nice to meet you. Hey, nice to meet uh, you, Ed. Oh, nice to meet you, too. Yeah, nice to meet really you. Lovely to meet it's you. really exciting. It's very exciting. It's very, I am exciting. You went to laugh. <laughs> That's better. Somebody beforehand, but to explain this joke. Uh, don't explain it. Okay, don't explain the joke. Right. Rock it. Ro own it. I'm going to own the joke. All right. Um, Music volume down. I've just turned it down. For We've just turned it down. Yeah, I just did that for everyone, so hopefully that's a little better. <gasps> it's not. Where's space, Loach? Where is space? It's on my desk. Oh dear. We're not talking. He's been involved in lots of criminal activities, and he so I'm has. not speaking to him. He has. It's quite uh, upsetting. Uh, anyway, guys, it's like herding children. Uh, so, uh, Adam, how are you doing? I'm good, thank Do, you. Are you excited to talk a bit about Beyond tonight and about some of the things that are coming to the Beyond season? Yeah, definitely. We've got something that people have been asking for for a little while in, uh, in Wings. Cool. A little while might be a bit of an understatement, to be honest. Since, so, yeah. the, since Wings came out. First. Since, since Wings came which out, Which is why it's fantastic that we're, we're, we're implementing these things. And of course, Sandy, you're going to be talking to us a little bit about... I'm going to be talking a little bit about crime. Okay. A, a, a big fat update to crime. Excellent stuff. Um, so I, I've got a couple of notes here for myself as well. Uh, these live streams, we decided to split them up into three parts. So this is just part one of a three-part live stream, effectively. The second one will be on Thursday the 18th. Uh, and Boom. then the following Tuesday next week will be the third part and third and final part. I'll talk through a little bit what, about what we're going to be covering. Like I said, today it's changes to crime and punishment. Then we'll be talking about wing missions with Adam. We'll be running through a, a wing mission in the in, in a build, and I'll go into that into details. So yeah, fingers Finger, crossed, fingers it's going crossed. to work, work well. Uh, on Thursday, we're going to be uh, uh, boarding the Chieftain, which is very Ooh. exciting stuff indeed. Uh, we're going to be looking at the, some of the visual improvements to the planets. Uh, we're flying the Chieftain past some planets and making, you know, the chief, putting the Chieftain in front of things. Um, then we'll be uh, having a look at how uh, trade data is now being displayed in an improved way, uh, making trading a much easier in-game experience. Uh, we'll be looking at the tech broker, which nobody has actually apparently heard of, according mm. to the forum post. Everyone's like, tech what is broker? it? What is the tech broker? Well, we'll be telling you Who more about the tech, tech broker? broker on Thursday. Uh, and then on the Tuesday, which is the 23rd, we will be going into details about the engineers, the material trader, Galna Audio, and more! Some, other bits Some and little bobs. kind of secret bits that, uh, yeah, that we, we. I look like the love child of Elvis and Churchill. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. I'm impressed. That's two impressive yeah. men. Yeah. And my eyes are pixelating. Yeah. I need to see a doctor. Well, uh, uh, you'll, we'll be okay. You see the camera in my glasses. All right, so tonight, we've got a lot of content to get through, and it's already quarter past seven. So oh. I, I want to, to, to get, get, beginning, uh, get to beginning as soon as possible, if that makes any sense. So, uh, first of all, what you're about to see is kind of a Blue Peter kind of, here's one we made earlier. Basically, tonight we are going to be using uh, some behind-the-scenes secret tools that only the developers have here, uh, Frontier Developments, in terms of working on Elite Dangerous. So, um, basically, 
for the purpose of the demonstration, it's easier for us to skip a couple of things. I could skip a couple of steps, perhaps. And so I might be um, potentially murdering people in one hit and things like that to demonstrate skill shots. being well, just incredibly skillful at shooting. <laughs> That's what I should have said, isn't it? I should have yeah. said skill shots. Um, um, but apparently, um, I should be actually being interdicted right now, which is interesting. But it's okay. It should be okay. We can leave it. And I will also probably be using um, a mode in which I cannot be killed. Some may call that a god mode, perhaps. So, with that in mind, please do try to understand, of course, that it is just because we wanted to be able to show off uh, yes. all of the features in the quickest, most efficient way. It's possible. a hot build. It's a hot build. Yeah, we're coming in hot. And. That is another important point. Thank you, Sandy. Mm. This build is hot, which basically means that any number of things could go wrong. <laughs> uh, any number of things in this presentation to you about what we're showing off could go wrong. Beta doesn't start until the 25th, which is next Thursday. Uh, so we've got time for these things to be polished and changed and updated. So please do keep that in mind when you're seeing what you're about to see. So, um, Ed equals God confirmed. That's not what I was saying. I was but you are God my God. Oh, um, I think if anyone here is on, <laughs> on high, I believe oh, it's right. me. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, let's, let's... Never get sold. All right, so Sandy, I think we're going to touch giving. on things first on, on your end, aren't we? Touch um, me. No, no, nothing like that. Nothing, oh. nothing weird like that. Um, so what I'm going to do... Uh, well, Sandy, I'm going to follow your instructions, first of all, about what you want me to do. But also, mainly for this segment, we're going to be uh, listening... You're going to be, unfortunately, listening to my dulcet tones. Listening I, to apologies. Sandy's dulcet tones. Uh, so, so set this up. So, um, uh, as part of Beyond Series updates, one of the things that we wanted to do was take a look at some of the core mechanics, see if we could improve them, um, take into account all the feedback that we've had. They're absolutely great feedback. Just want to point that out. It's just got better every time uh, as time's gone on. So thank you. Keep uh, keep at the feedback. Good or bad, it's all great for us. Um, makes us make better decisions. Um, and one of the core cool features is crime. So this isn't the be all and end all, but it's uh, I, I think a nice qualitative step forward in terms of improving the crime system, specifically in terms of consequence. So this isn't everything in the Beyond series um, regarding crime, but it's, it, it's, it's this first kind of marker in the sand to kind of set the scenes where we want to go. So with that, I'm just going to dive in. So at some point, if you want to become a criminal head, feel free, and then maybe if you try to find somewhere to dock, okay. once, you've, once you've done that. I will go but I will just, now. unfortunately, I'm just going to be rattling on a bunch of things. So this is the way it's going to, it's going to, it's going to fall out. So um, as um, I've mentioned, I think, in uh, the forum, um, focused feedback. Oh my goodness gracious me. Thank you, Lawrence. <laughs> Sorry, we have loads. Uh, it's back. It's, it's really on. Very important. Yeah, the, yeah, okay. The game, game it, director the, the, there. The, the, the loach is back. It's, it's back. very, very important. Um, <laughs> wow, that's literally um, derailed me. That's great. I do apologize. Uh, so, it's, yeah, so I, I was saying it's about um, consequence for criminal activity. So, as people, as, as people may have seen in the um, focus forum, um, focus feedback forum, that I, I would want everyone to go and visit if they get a chance. I think it's engineering's currently up there, but the crime system update that we were thinking of uh, was up there before, and I think it's been archived now. Um, we're going to make a few significant changes. So the first one is we are going to attach crimes to ships um, rather than commanders. Now there's a very clear reason for this in, in our opinion. Um, it means it's going to give us flex. It's going to give criminals flexibility in terms of what they want to do when they're a criminal. Um, the, the ship will have a crime in it. If you get out of the ship, you're no longer wanted. You'll be in a clean ship. People won't come after you. But there's a cost to that. You can't use that ship. Uh, if you stay in the ship, um, there are some other penalties. So there's going to be consequences of being in a wanted ship. When you dock at starports um, in a ship that's hot, that's wanted, in a jurisdiction where it's wanted, um, your ship will connect and not using anonymous protocols rather than just sending a free, free, a free flow of data about its contents. So this is great. It means that the starport authorities don't know who you are and they won't arrest you or kill you or just blow you up on the pad. Uh, but it does mean that certain access, certain starport uh, services will be off limits to you. So you will only really be able to, um, uh, if, you've got, if your ship's wanted um, in terms of you've got fine, outstanding fines, you'll be able to pay off the fines. If it's wanted for uh, bounty crimes, for, for violent crimes, there's not a lot you can do. You can complete missions that are already active because you're going straight to the person who knows you. Other than that, pretty much can't do anything about it. This is just an aspect that we're really interested in, in exploring in terms of, as a criminal, you need to behave a little bit differently. Um, certain starports are, are going are to be off limits to you. 
uh, depending on what you're doing, where you're a criminal. And again, it plays into this concept we've got in Elite, which is very strong, and it's, it's been there from the beginning, which is you can be a villain in one jurisdiction and a hero in another, uh, and they both coexist uh, side by side. So it's about where you're wanted, not just that you're wanted. Um, so uh, that's that. So we're also making some pretty significant changes. One significant change, really, or a, a couple, two bounties in general. So first of all, uh, fines, they're not going to be short to bounties anymore. So that, that state change is gone. Um, bounties are never going to become dormant on ship destruction for any reason. Bounties are always going to be active or, or not there. The reason we're doing this is quite, simp quite simple, really. We want to increase the legibility. We want to we'll slim down the, the, the number of state changes and crazy stuff that happens in the crime system so that when you know you've got a fine, you know exactly where you stand with that fine. You know what it means. You know how to get rid of it. There's no kind of time delay before it becomes become something else. And that's especially true for dormant bounties, which, although the idea was very pretty cool in that it was, oh, your criminal history could follow you around and dormant bounties could become activated, it, in, you know, over the course of the years as we've been playing the game, it's not really worked out that well for that. It's just become this bit of a millstone where it's just, oh, I've got a bounty and that's dormant. What does that really mean? And it's just it's a bit confusing. Are you about to kill someone? Oh, you naughty person, you. Um, but it gave me a bounty it's rather than... Uh Breaking the law, I suppose. Uh, get a bounty gain to solve the crime. Sorry, because you just shot him, Ed. Okay, You're so a criminal. Just, okay. Right. It does okay. You're should just I, a criminal now. Well, okay. You can still go and die. Yeah. Can go and die. Yes, that's I, fine. I can go and demonstrate that. So, um, murder bounties, that's the big one, right? That's the one that's the most important one. So we're changing that a little bit more significantly. So there's still a kind of fixed penalty amount to a murder bounty. Um, about between four and 6,000, I believe, is it, it, something like that, depending on which jurisdiction it, you're in. However, there's now uh, a couple of new sections and new um, amounts of credits that are attached to that bounty. Uh, one part of it will be a fraction of your ship's rebuy cost. So when you kill someone... Uh, the cost of your ship, the rebuy cost, a small fraction of that will get added on to the bounty. And importantly, especially for other players, a fraction of the victim's rebuy cost will get added on to the ship as well, uh, add on to the bounty as well. Importantly, especially again for commanders, for pl human players, if you are the victim um, of uh, a, a murder, a murder crime, someone, another player comes along and kills you, um, the rebuy cost uh, that they have to pay is deducted from your rebar cost when you respawn. So it works out a little bit better. Again, it's about equity and justice, right? If you're going around killing other players, that's cool. You know, we accept that players want to kill each other and we don't want to stop them doing that. But we want to make sure that it's a, a bit more of a fair trade, is that the, the, the risk reward is, is, works across the board. And finally, um, players or commanders are going to have what, what we're, we're putting in a new stack called notoriety, which uh, can you should sure? probably look at actually if you're, yeah. Just want me to wait until I can. I, do you mind if I? No, you can. Uh, you can do the loop of shame first if you want. That's that's totally okay. Uh, the first doc first time, right? That's not a problem. So what notoriety is? It's just a value. Um, it increases every time you um, commit the murder crime against any ship, and uh, what it does is it affects, it modifies the rebuy cost portions of the bounty that's applied for murder. So as your notoriety increases, as you become more known as a more villainous person. Um, the fraction of your rebuy cost that's used goes up, and the fraction of the victim's rebuy cost goes up. Now, these we've made sure these are separate numbers, separate levers that we can pull, because it's quite likely that the rebuy cost portion of your own ship is going to be will make that probably quite nominal and not it'll go it'll go up more slowly. It won't it won't go up to a, a huge amount, but the rebuy cost portion that's coming from the victim will scale up more dramatically. And in effect, what this means is it's for you know, kind of for all you griefers out there, I suppose, really. Um, the more notorious you are, the less pain you're actually inflict inflicting on the uh, in the long run against your victims because they end up paying less and less and less and your bounty gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, we think, again, it's, just, it's, about e it's an equitable thing. Now, notoriety um, goes down when you're brought to book, when, some, when a bounty hunter or a police detect you as the criminal that you are and then they kill you, they destroy your ship. Um, it doesn't go down any other way at the moment. So it, it will follow you around and it follows you outside of your ship. So I got a lot of awesome feedback in the, uh, um, in the, in the, in, in the focused forum, um, the Beyond Focus forum. I ran through that very quickly there, but... Oh, right, you, got, is, is you can see... Oh, right, so it's worth mentioning at this point as well. We've got a nice uh, bit of um, iconography going on now. We've got a little yeah. crime symbol that will, sh it will show you where you're wanted. So you can see starports and areas where you're wanted and... Uh, it will also tell you, for example, you see there at the starport, you're going to be logging on anonymously rather than 
a normally, which means that you won't get detected for as a criminal you are, but you'll have limited uh, services. We're trying to make sure that everything's as legible as possible, right? Mm -hmm. That's cool. So, um, where was I? So with the, yeah, so with the, the bounty cost, um, it's, it's all about making sure that if you're going to go around and murdering other, other players especially, um, it's going to become more challenging for you in terms of the cost you'll have to pay when you're caught, but importantly, it's, it's going to lighten the load on those. Uh, we, we generally, and again, this, this came from the feedback from the, the forums, right? I was going to ask that, oh, that, how, that, how that, much that, of it? Uh, uh, significant portions. I mean, that aspect completely was, it came from a, a, um, a forum post. So it's this stuff, the stuff you put on the, the, the points you make in the forums, as long as they're civil um, and we can understand them, they are really useful. Very helpful. They're, yeah. They're, yeah, absolutely very helpful. I also have helpful. to say as well, that's, it's worth pointing out that we, uh, the regards to the, hello, what, what just happened there? What, what, what panel am I supposed to be on here? Uh, I don't know, you're trespassing because oh. you didn't get docking permission, I maybe? definitely did. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh. It just disappeared on me. Get out. Right. Well, You've I've got a fine. fine. Is it because they don't like me here? Or what, mm. what's happened? No. Or is it because we're playing in a hot build? It could be that we're playing hot in a hot build. build. Hot build. <laughs> hot build strikes. So, uh, okay, so the, the last thing I no, tried to do. Yeah, so that's what I was going to point out. Again, it was um, some strong feedback that came through um, is... Uh, well, that's no good because you just change ships and, and the crimes should be associated with the commanders, not, not the ships. There, there's an element of um, very similar to there, which I understand, but there's also an element that we want to make sure this, this works as a game. And putting crimes on ships is really, really cool, right, for, 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 for gameplay. It gives us a lot, a lot more options. But the notoriety is a nice way to tie the in the commander as well. And it didn't oh, like you got me. scanned, right, okay. Yeah. All right, so, well, that's well there you go. Do we do a thing where we clear off the... Uh, uh, you could the, just the run away. Way? Yeah, yeah, or, or, rent, or clear crimes, yeah. Well, should we do that now? Uh, you can do How that. How do I do that? Um, uh, bring up the... I thought it was clean legal state. Yes. Um, it doesn't seem to work, so what do I have to do beforehand? Did I spell it wrong? You probably spelled it wrong. Do okay. clean and then just do a tab thing on it. It's not working. It's not working. I don't know why. Clear? Clear. Legal. Yes. There you go. I got the word wrong. There you go. So, you can't do that. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh, well, we so can. That, that's not but hey, you get to see hey, behind, the, behind the, the curtains, right? Yeah, yeah. I wonder if it's going to actually take, let me in now. I'm going to jump out and jump back in just to, just to call, make, make things. So, uh, that's, um, that's murder, that's the murder bounty. So, it's, uh, that's changing quite significantly. But I, we genuinely think that's a good thing. As for numbers and values and how much the, the bounty goes up by, these are all things I'm sure are going to change like crazy during, up until the beta and during the beta. Um, but that, that's fine. So what else are we doing? Well, it doesn't stop there. We're introducing interstellar bounties, or it might be fair to say we're reintroducing interstellar bounties, but it's something we had a long time ago. Pretty cool concept, the superpowers. If you transgressed enough against factions that were aligned with them, they would go, right, I'm going to give you an interstellar bounty that's valid across my entire jurisdiction. So if it's the Empire, every system or every area controlled by an Empire faction, you'd be a criminal in. That's coming back. There'll be a big bounty value threshold that you have to cross before it triggers. But when it does trigger, you will then be wanted across um, the Federation or the Empire or the Alliance. Obviously, there's no independent um, superpower because that is a mockery. It doesn't make sense. So that's just a cool thing. Other than that, it, 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 it works the same as pardon me, the, the same as other bounties. It's just another level of consequence for serial criminals. And it helps demarcate the control and jurisdiction of each superpower quite nicely as well. Mm. Um, yeah. I just wanted to sort of maybe slightly explain what should have happened there as I was going in and why that sort of didn't work. Well, well that, the reason that didn't work is because you were scanned on the way okay, in, right? And, and then when then you're it, scanned, it, that's not, that's not says, changed. Oh, you, you're okay. a criminal, they're not going to let you dock, they're going they're right. to take okay. you to so I was, But I was quite, quite horrible. I only shot at someone, I didn't kill them or anything. You probably need to go and actually commit a crime again. Well, I know, I was, gonna, I was thinking... Well, well, you could just shoot, right? No, because going to kill me. No, no, just shoot into space, it will trigger a fine. Are you sure? Yeah, do it. look, I don't want to get... Just do it, right? Trust me, what could possibly go wrong? I trust you, but I can't. Shoot. Boom. Okay, you've got a fine. Fire you can still dock. Fire, so. Yeah, okay. Ah. <laughs> he's so thrilled that he can demonstrate his right. new changes okay. to the game in a nice, easy way. He's dancing with his Willy Wonka hat on. Okay. So. You're like a, a Johnny Depp Willy Wonka. No, I'm not that good. <laughs> right, okay. So, what have we got? Well, we've got uh, ATR coming, which we might hopefully see a little bit of uh, in later on. Um, so what is that? what are ATR? ATR are Advanced Tactical Responders. 
So the authorities are gaining an additional level of response for players. So there has been an issue with players, especially with engineering, where they can get super ships and effectively operate above the law. They're too powerful. They can just sit there mowing down police. Not only is this not really good for the game, it's especially bad for things like the, uh, it, messing around with the background simulation. You know, it, it's not good that someone could just sit there murdering police indefinitely and they can cause all sorts of kind of aberration, aber aberration effects in the background simulation. So. When you, in, an, in, a, in, a, in an individual instance, when you commit enough crimes, um, get a big enough bounty, uh, you'll get ATR ships start spawning in. Um, these are very nasty ships. They're very powerful. They should really be able to challenge the best that you've got, whether that's engineered or not. It's going to be really fun and interesting in the, uh, it's going to be very exciting, really exciting in the beta to see how, what, you know, what the interplay is of how well people can take them on. We might need to adjust them a little bit more, tune them up, tune them down. Fundamentally, though, what they're not here to do is insta kill you, right? Because we don't want to shut down crime. We just want to make crime consequences appropriate. And that's like the big, that's the big takeaway from the crime update, okay? It's not that we hate criminals. It's, it's, the, it's that up until now, criminals have had it slightly too easy in some slightly odd ways with various loopholes. And we just kind of, we want to just shut those down, or as many as we can. So ATR should be pretty cool, okay? So let's just very, very, yeah. very quickly talk about a couple of things. Um, in the chat, people are saying nobody's talking to this chat. Uh, we are reading it. I'm reading it. Yes. Uh, and we will have time, time to answer some questions uh, later on, especially when we're doing the demo of the of Wings in action. Yeah. Um, but for the time being, we're just letting Sandy. Yeah, I, I just want, I'll, I'll push the way through, and then and I'll try and address some of the uh, some of the questions. Yeah. Also, I mean, look which were are seeing first of all? Exactly. Uh, we can uh, see some things on screen now. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, so now you can see um, uh, that's actually a mistake, though. Okay. The commodities, the oh no, the, the, that's fine. The black market, though, if it was there, right? And that's actually fine. Okay, so what you can see here. Point out bugs that aren't there. No, that's right. right. What you can see here is. Um, <laughs> he's excited because it's working. Is Ed has, uh, has docked. Is he, he's, uh, he has outstanding fines. Uh, the ship has logged on using anonymous access protocols so that yeah. it won't be discovered as, as the filthy villain criminal that he is. And it's fine, right? You can dock. However, yeah. lots of things are locked off because. Right. To, to use them, you'd need to uh, there'd need to be a communication transfer between the ship and the, the people you're trying to do. However, because it's just a fine, he can pay off his fines. And when he does do that, wait, hey, look. he's now logged on correctly. And there is mm, something not quite right there. With the <laughs> but that will be fixed. Like I said, I promise you. Hey, look, this is yeah, beta. That's, this, this is, is hot alpha. Build. This is an alpha build. Hot build. Yes. Hot build announcement. Uh, technically it's now, gone. It's, it, gone. <laughs> it's gone. We fixed it. Yeah. I clicked a thing. Well, that bit's still gone wrong, right? So, uh, I don't worry about so, that. So uh, this my cool it, new. Uh, no, this cool new logo. Yeah. So uh, that, that's fundamentally the way that works. So again, that's just to make it so that criminals have an interesting time trying to work out where they can go and where they can't go. Yeah. So someone just not, um, said, please can you explain how power play bounties work? Yes, it's very, very simple. Power play, um, currently in the live build, it just runs off normal crime system, um, which causes various issues in terms of police getting involved when we actually want it to be consensual PVP, right? Mm -hmm. we, we don't want the police getting involved too much. So what we're doing is we're saying, any activity that would be a power play crime is no longer a normal crime. It's only a power play crime mm -hmm. for which you'll get a power play bounty on that ship. Um, only people who are pledged to the appropriate powers can see that bounty and claim it. But that's great because they get money for killing you, which, the, you know, which didn't happen before. But only once you've committed power play crimes. And it means normal police won't be involved. So this will also mean that we'll probably toughen up the... Uh, actual power play NPC ships that are flying around, so they've generally got some um, combat escort, so you can't just go and destroy them without anyone turning up at all, so for the single player aspect of it. Um, but it, when you die as, as part of power play, in terms of you had a power play bounty, someone kills you and claims it, you don't go through any crime system, right? Because it's, it's almost like extra judici judicial. You were killed by effectively um, a paramilitary, because the superpower, the, the powers are paramilitaries. So there's no super penalty on you, you, you don't get shunted to some crazy place, you'll go through the normal I've, I've died respawn um, and then you're free to carry on. So we think that's a quite a nice compromise actually, it works quite well for power play. You can in engage in power play without causing grief to other people and without other people griefing you um, and there's a bit more money to be made from it so we're, we're quite interested to see how that, that turns out. Um, and then the last point, which is another big one, is um, how you respawn, right? How you respawn. Detention centres is a new thing that we're, we're adding in. So one of the big loopholes that, we've, that, that we've actually tried to fix, we've got, we actually have fixed in the current build, but it's in a bit of a clunky way with a ship penalty rebuy cost, is the fact that up until recently you could uh, commit lots of crimes, swap your ship to a free ship or a very cheap ship, get detected and die, and then you, the rebuy cost you're paying isn't commensurate with the, the ship you were in when you committed the crimes. So you're effectively getting away light. You're avoiding consequences, which is what we don't want. So when you 
uh, are brought to book by a bounty hunter or, or the authorities, um, you will be respawned at a detention centre, the nearest detention centre. So there's, we, we've got loads of them across human space, so hopefully the distance shouldn't be too massive, but it, it does push you to a particular system that has a de detention centre in it. And at this detention centre, you have to pay for your sins. You can't avoid it anymore. It's like you can't swap ships, you can't uh, be detected or, or, uh, and somewhere else or not be detected then die. They've got you there and then. So effectively your, your, your head has been brought to the, uh, to the, on a platter to the police. So that's pretty important. We're, we'll also use this system for um, faction hostility. So at the moment there's a chance that you can get caught in a horrible loop where you become hostile with a faction whilst you're docked at their starport and every time you try and launch they're like, eh, we're going to kill you now, and they do, I mean, pretty much instantly the moment you get off the pad. So now, uh, hopefully what's going to happen is that when you um, are at a starport and, it, and you become hostile, and it can happen actually whilst you're docked, right? So reputation changes and whatnot can make you hostile, it's a corner case but it does happen, uh, you'll, get, you'll be deported effectively to a detention centre. At a detention centre, um, you, you, there won't be any crime. It's like they kind of push you to the border and go, go away, do your thing, don't come back. Um, that is, in a nutshell, the changes that we're, that we're doing for 3.0 of Beyond. Not the only changes. Mm -hmm. Later on, there, there will be some other ones, hopefully. Uh, but we think... Uh, and then that's not all that we're doing in terms of, um, you know, for... Criminal activities, I see a few people in there saying, hey, th this is all just things about punishments for criminals. In, in a way, yes, it is, because the consequences weren't strong enough before. They were too exploitable and too avoidable. Um, now, with this new system, they should be the appropriate level. That doesn't mean to say that we're not looking at um, criminals and how we can make sure that they make more, effectively make more money, right? Because at the moment, with piracy, um, it's... Uh, it, it, you don't it, often it, it can be quite a, quite a long time to make to, to, to make the same amount of money that you would from normal training or whatever. I'm not saying you know, crim criminality is something that is a little bit more difficult in general. No getting around that. It's just the way it is. Yeah. But we will be looking at that at, uh, at that as well. So Sandy, so why don't I'm you? I'm going to start shooting at some people. Yeah. Just to show, show this off in in, in at. Um, oh look at that! He's getting can serious. I, can uh, I just can I just explain? Yeah. To people watching, that please do keep in mind that this first of all. Well, I'll show you. I'll show you the first thing. Um, that this is a live build, uh, yes. and so when we were practicing it earlier to make the things happen, uh, sometimes I had to go a little bit over the top uh, in order to make the things uh, do the thing we wanted it to do. Okay. Have you got the? But, uh, uh, yes, I have a little trick on. Uh, we're super skill shot. We ready and. Super skill shot. Oh, you see, I did it there. Ed, right? Don't mess with Ed. <laughs> Don't mess with me. We got the super skill shots on. Yeah. Uh, 6,000 bounty, so it's, you can see that the messages are quite clear with what's going uh, and the bounty. And also because I got a kill, we want to have a look into oh, yeah, yeah, the yes. stats yeah. here. And as you can see, oh, by the way, oh, don't look at Some that. Other stuff. We'll be talking about that later on in the week uh, or next week. As you can see, I'm wanted and you can see all the different influences and stuff like that. But I wanted to show you this, which is the crime. So my notoriety level is at 1 because I shot. It went from 0 to 1. It went from 0 to, to 1 uh, with my one shot kill. It's a hacker. I am actually a hacker. And I want that gun, yeah. You ready? You ready for Super Skull Shot? Right. Not even, he wasn't even looking that time. <laughs> it's good. Uh, um, impressive, right? Uh, he's dead. There you go. He's gone. Um, okay. Ed uh, equals God. Okay. It's the truth, right? It's true. I'm so sorry. Uh, and you can see that the, uh, the bounty at the moment has gone up by a rather large amount. Yeah. Don't kill anyone else. Yeah. So... Uh, well, how much is the bounty? So the bounty's got to buy a massive amount because at the moment our numbers are kind of all over the place. We're trying different things. So what that really, all that's done is that uh, that's adding, it's the new way we're doing the murder, bounty, murder system in that the, there's a fraction of your rebuy cost and the victim rebuy cost getting added onto the bounty. So murder bounties, they will, they do escalate. They won't escalate that much in the okay. uh, final game, but for testing purposes, it makes it quite easy. Yeah, so this First is the Federal testing. Security Services. Are you sure you don't want to take any more of those guys down? Uh, let's wait for a second because I, 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 I'm not sure. You might you might have to kill them uh, because of but course kill them one at a time. You, you're not entirely sure what the uh, in fact it's going to be balancing. You haven't uh, picked the exact amount that it's going to take before these services come at you. But we, we yes yeah. Um, but we'll leave it might, for the beta purposes. It may be coming out of twenty thousand credits that you. Yeah, it, it will certainly it will certainly we'll, we'll be looking at this throughout beta and probably changing it um, up or down. I, it, I'm I'm not sure exactly. Have you just did you just kill a federal? Let's kill the federal police ship. Uh, so more en route. It says. 
system authorities are en route. Would it, would it usually tell you who's coming? It will tell you who's coming, hopefully, if it, if it works. So you might need to nibble another, another one or two. Okay, and are we receiving what the, the chat is saying here while I'm doing this? Last time it took a few minutes before they came through to us, didn't so, it? So, uh, what's that? Some stop, stop spamming about combat logging. Yeah, so this doesn't deal with combat logging. We're being very upfront about that. Combat logging is a separate issue which requires a, a, a separate fix that we're looking at separately. So, yes, we're aware of it. But no, this isn't exactly what that's about. I'm really waiting for these things. And yes, I have got God mode on to see where these people are coming. I'll probably already be dead by this point anyway. Um, but well, yeah, you're the, not in a super engineer ship. The idea ship. is that. Uh, Maybe I just have to kill a few more of these. You might have to kill, if you just focus on the police ships, you might have to kill a few more. The, like I say, the numbers, they're, they're in, in flux at the moment. Oh, right, so um, Mika's saying, how are current bounties and dormant bounties being handled? When this goes in the new system, there'll be a general amnesty. We're going to wipe the slates clean. There'll be no, we're going to get rid of everyone's crimes. So there'll be no dormant bounties, there'll be no bounties. It's a, it will be a one-off, uh, non-negotiable thing. Oh, I've got some, I've got some rewards there. Good. You can that. You can do both at once. Um... A lot of fun being able to pop them like this. I, you don't get any <laughs> ideas. You see this Ed on live doing point. this, then <laughs> then report him. They said, no, yeah, please do. This is not something uh, that I will be doing regularly. Um, all right. Oh, federal ATR. Here you go. Target area right. ahead. So I just to cause a lot of damage. Yeah. So don't uh, insta um, these. Okay. So wait. I need to quickly uh, do something very quickly, and that is take God mode off. Uh, so that's no. That's no. not the correct one. Oh, Come on, you can then, do it. And, then, and again, there you go. Okay, and this is the. This so is these the are the ATRs, yeah. and as you can see, they're quite dangerous. Oops. Oh no! I'm so sorry. After all that waiting around, they didn't get to see how quickly they took us down. There. Oh really? Well, that's because I couldn't switch to the screen fast enough. But <laughs> okay. So I'm again, so sorry. The, that's again okay. The, 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 so the ATR, hard. the um, federal ATR. Which they won't be called the Federal ATR. I think they're Void Runners, Void so Raiders. They have specific names. They have, yeah, there, there's talk, talk one me set. Some of those names. I think they're Void Sorry, Raiders. Sorry, I, I, I think there's the Blue Epaulettes, um, and there's oh, I can't remember what the other one's called. Basically, all of the superpowers have um, yeah. um, an ATR tactic tactical team, and there is um, an, uh, there is an independent tactical team, which pretty much all the independent systems sign up to, kind of like okay. the Pinkerton, Pinkerton Agency. Yeah. Um, they're very powerful ships, but again. That was maybe a bit too quick because the idea is not that the ATR should kill you instantly. Yeah. They should effectively chill the instance that they arrive in and uh, make everyone leave or die. They're not completely unkillable. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I, right. I possibly so they can be killed, the, but you're the, not going to be killing many of them. For the purposes of the, of the demonstration that we just showed there as well, I was having to, because of the fact that I could kill things with one shot, it was unbalanced to show when they would be coming in and stuff like that. They were going to be coming in at much more of a sort of reasonable rate. Yes. I died very, very quickly there. You heard the, <laughs> you heard the sound effects of it going down as well. Uh, and um, But it, it it's... It's in balance flux, but the in idea is these are tough ships. Hashtag hot build, you know, so hot build. Hot yeah, build hot build, right but uh, uh, hopefully, the, like I said, the concept, I don't want people taking away the wrong concept. It's not that we're out to kill and punish everyone um, It's not harshly. necessarily too quickly as well. It's not as, as if that build that I was flying in was like a, a super beefy... Uh, no, it wasn't. It was an okay ship. ship. It was a very, so I think it was actually, might be quite standard... Uh, just regular shields on, on a on a yes uh, advanced tactical responder or and advanced tactical response that's so what ATR means. So we get it. Move on. Thank you, Ringador. Thanks very much. Yeah, of course we need that sort of uh, Vinani getting a little push. So it's really good and really I'm really appreciative of Ringador being here telling us to move on. So we will. All right, ship destroyed. Ship has been destroyed by Federal ATR. Have a look at this. All right, so now we go. There you go. Bam! Right in the middle of the screen. Read it to us, Sandy. So criminal warrants have been detected on your ship before its destruction. You've been transferred to a detention facility where you'll be processed for crimes against Federation. Mm -hmm. Because this, because you had such a large bounty, you, you'd actually got an interstellar bounty for the Federation. Again, those numbers are in flux. The number's way too low at the moment. Uh, but they will, um, hopefully, it, it, again, it gets across that we're just making a, a bit more cooler consequences, right? More consequences. The fact that we're bringing interstellar bounties back, that's a really cool thing. You can be that in notorious um, criminal that is wanted across, you know. 12 systems, 50 systems, or all the whole empire, whatever. So, so that's what happens. And if you're okay that, um, you, you basically, you have to pay. You, that's the other big one. Can't get around it. You've got you to pay for your, for your crimes. So it's worth pointing out a few of the little bits, um, which uh, 
Oh, someone said, what if you can't get out of the detention system because you have a bad FSD? We've placed a detention system so they're always within like a, a small jump range of, a, of, a sta of, of, of systems that have star ports that have got all the stuff you need to upgrade. You can't get into the detention system. And when you leave the, when you leave the, deten the detention centre in the detention system, we'll make sure that you are in, effectively in a kind of solo private space until you engage your, your frameshift drive. So you can't be like, people can't wait around and try and gank you, okay? No, always when they fight the law, so um, it me. So other important things uh, to note though, um, so when a ship is uh, hot, when it's wanted and you store it, um, you won't ever be able to transfer it to a system where it's wanted. Um, any modules that are in it are also hot, so if you take them out, um, you can't then put them into other ships that aren't, that aren't hot. Um, if you put any modules, clean modules, into a hot ship, they become hot. So that we're trying to look at all the ways that you could maybe kind of find, find a loophole to clean your ship and launder your ship, and we think we've pretty much covered most of those, so that's just another part of it. Okay. But overall, um, that's what this that's first kind of pass is, uh, is of crime is all about. Um, it's a lot of information. Yeah, it is a lot of inf I, information. I, we are going to have a written version of what we, will, we just talked about. And uh, uh, if there are any questions, feel free to keep yeah. pushing them While through in the, um, in, in, the, in the stream, in the chat. I'll try and do my best to, to see them. And, and when Adam takes over and talks about, the, uh, about wing missions, I'll be looking at that again. Um, Shams. So, uh, uh, how does that, right, so um, lockdown stuff in anarchy systems, well, it doesn't, right? Okay, you can't commit crimes in anarchy systems, so you won't get locked down. And that's one of the cool things about anarchy systems. There is no law, so if there's no law, you can't commit crimes. If you can't commit crimes, you can't be wanted. If you're not wanted, you don't have a hot ship. If you don't have a hot ship, then you don't trigger anonymous protocols, so that should be fine. Uh, what well, if you can't pay? Well, if you can't pay, you can use ships as collateral, you can use the loan, or you can go bankrupt. Right, that's, that's the way that works. Um, breaking people out of the detention centre would be cool, but it's not, it's not something we, we, you can do at the moment. <laughs> um, anything goes in anarchy systems, says old duck. Yes, it absolutely does. That is absolutely the point of anarchy systems. There shouldn't be police in there. There shouldn't be crimes in there. Uh, I think it's worth pointing out, actually, that these changes, and they are big and they're significant, and I think, I think we all think they're really cool, but they're fundamentally not against the principles of what the elite crime system is, okay? They're actually just shoring up some uh, loopholes, getting rid of some exploits, making the, the consequences a bit more plausible, a bit more, realist, a bit more realistic, actually, yeah, um, and just make sure that there are consequences. So the concepts of jurisdiction and faction and bounties and fines, they haven't gone away. So it's actually not that much different in a lot of ways. It's just, uh, hopefully, more robust. And that was always one of the key points that we wanted to, the key kind of things we wanted to address in the Beyond series of updates. We wanted to look at the, the core systems and go, oh, well, how can we shore these up, make them better, improve them? So, um, if the crime and punishment system was a biscuit, what biscuit would it be? Um, I think a ginger snap. Oh, boy. Just because it's got the word snap. Okay. Uh, like but you, snap. But I, again, you... you uh, fundamentally think this is going to, I think the one thing that you said to me earlier was about improve the, the health of the game in the long term. Yes. And I think that's an important. So important. don't get me wrong, everyone wants to uh, a hero story, wants to be empowered, wants to be able to do everything and, and win and get everything and that's cool I and mean, we understand that but for the long term health of the game it has to be as fair as possible, as equitable as possible. Mm -hmm. That's why we're not done with it, the, we think this is a great um, set of changes mm -hmm. but we will be looking at things to look at uh, how, how ramming works and uh, combat logging. It's like, with these, out there, these haven't gone away. We're still very, very interested in seeing what we can do about them. It's just one step at a time, right? We have to look at things mm -hmm. one step at a time. Mm -hmm. So for, for everybody that we, uh, everybody here, hello, and thanks a lot for coming along. Uh, we've got, we're going to cover Wings missions somehow in the next uh, half an hour. Um, Is it been half an hour? Uh, well, it's been 45 minutes. Oh! Uh, it's been half an hour, uh, no, sorry. It's roughly half an hour of, of, of talking about mm. that. But it was well done, well done, sir. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you so much for, for talking us through that. And there's lots more information to come. And also, you'll get your hands on it as well. So in the open beta for PC players in, sorry, it's uh, 25th. So uh, not this Thursday coming, but the Thursday after you'll all be able to play on that and see all of these changes. Today's live stream, we're covering Crime Punishment and Wing Missions, which we're about to go into in just a second. Um, Monster. As we have uh, our friend, Mr. Uh, up there. Hello. Uh, thank, you for, thank you for joining us on, on, on the little the UI screen up there. <laughs> yeah. uh, and it, it, it's, it's awesome. Um, it's, it, I'm really excited to, to basically show, show this off for you guys. But... Uh, on next week's stream, or Thursday streams, two days away, that's when we're going to be showing off the Chieftain. We're going to be showing planetary visual improvements, trade data improvements, and oh, the tech broker. We did, we will, but just one quick thing, because yeah, it's a really good question. Neil Fortson yep. said, uh, piracy, can we explain how um, commander pirating another commander with limpets will now suffer... Uh, Do we oh. scroll up? I can scroll up for you. Don't worry. Hang on. 
Yes, uh, we're now suffering under the new mechanic. Are they going to lose station access? Um, they'll be committing a, uh, a crime, so they will, but uh, that's kind of the point. They c you, you, you can... Oh, God, so I missed out one really important bit. Oh, gosh, well, I'm glad you You got can that. get rid of bounties. That was stupid of me. You don't just have to die. Bounties are, their bounties don't mature or change, but they can be removed. Um, you can use our good old friends at the Incel Factors. So this group of grey legalese experts, um, like bending the law, um, at, a, at cost, so paying more, you can um, get rid of bounties. So uh, yes, um, being a pirate is, a, 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 um, a, um, there are more consequences to it. You've got to remember that it's all jurisdictional, right? So you can go to other places. It's like if you're wanted in a jurisdiction, it's just that jurisdiction you're wanted in. So you can go somewhere else. But you can pay off your bounties as well. Um, just it, 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 it's another cost of money. It's one of the reasons why we are going to be looking. I don't know when exactly, but we're going to be looking at the kind of value that you can expect to get from piracy. It's something that we're quite keen on, on investigating. Okay, well. Just to add to that as well, it's also going to make, as someone does background similar, a lot, anarchy is an important place for criminals to be. Because yes. That's uh, absolutely. It's always been the case that we kind of really would like to see criminals treating anarchies as more as like, this is where we live. Hmm. Okay? I'm getting interdicted. Um, all right. So, everybody, uh, let's say uh, a big hello to, um, to, to Adam Berkway. You're not a hologram. We're okay. Hologram. We're, in, we're in there. It's all right. Adam's a hologram. Uh, so, Adam, hello. Hi. Uh, hello. Thank you uh, so much for, for joining us here. Thank you for sitting through Sandy's talk there. Very really much appreciated. Put it that. And thank you everybody good. at home for saying Yeah, what did you think? Enjoyable. Are you excited about the changes coming to Crime Punishment? Do you think they're going to improve the gameplay? Because uh, I, I, I do the the background sim as well. And actually, as I say, things like Anarchy is having more... They're going to feel more like geography because they are going to be, for a criminal, a beacon in the kind of darkness of, mm. of law that you're going to... You know, if people want to play criminals pro properly, they should be popping into anarchies to mm. sell their stuff because that's where they'll be treated like like-minded people, and it's just going to add to that. And um, ATR is going to be quite a big deal for for background sim because there are places where some people have had mm -hmm. um, unequivalent. You know, they've had exaggerated impact on the background sim because they have got these massively powerful ships, or they're you know massively good at the game, and there hasn't been enough challenge to them to kind of stop them having. Uh, a huge impact on the background scene where, where, where they shouldn't be. Wonderful stuff. Um, I, uh, and by the way, please do let us uh, in, the, in the chat know uh, what you think as well. Uh, we do want to see your feedback in the chat. And I know Sandy is very, very keen to read your comments about this. Leave some comments in there and some questions. Adam is going to talk us all through uh, wing missions today. Yeah. Like we said at the start as well, thank you so much for coming along. And also, you had a large part in designing the, the wing missions yep. uh, with a team of, of, of people. Um, yeah, uh, the really? main guy behind the wing missions has been uh, Justin Rosewell. So he's uh, he's, he's on Japan. holiday in Japan at the moment. So hopefully he's having a fantastic there? time. Um, so yeah, Thank I'm you. taking over. Great stuff. Well, thank you. For doing no so. worries. Um, so why don't you set this up? Tell okay. us, talk us talk us through some stuff. Well, so, it's very showable, isn't it? It's yeah, wing missions uh, have been something that people have been asking for for a long time. They they're actually. They're quite complicated beasts because obviously one one mission, one person missions were complicated enough, and then adding another three people into the into the basket makes them even more uh, complicated. So I'm, I'm just going to send out a uh, an invite to you so that you can jump into a wing for me because obviously um, we I've need to be in a that. wing. I've received that. Now, uh, do you, I, I've noticed actually? Um, could you do me a favour, Adam? I'm going to just go to the opening screen in a second. Yeah. Uh, they can still hear us and see us. Um, can you just check your settings uh, for your resolution settings? Please? And whilst they're doing that, I can just quickly answer a question. Yeah, yeah, ask some questions. Um, well, Someone's well, saying about friendly sense. fire, what's going to happen with friendly fire? Yes, because this system, uh, the consequences have more bite and have more meaning. We're going to address friendly fire. Um, the friendly fire threshold will be going up. So you have to do more damage before friendly fire actually kicks in, because once it kicks in, you can't just kind of wait 10 minutes and, and get away with it. Um, but uh, there'll be a new crime um, for that, that probably will be around the threshold of friendly fire, which will just be a fine crime, which will become reckless weapons discharge. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a little bit. We're going to be a little bit more tolerant of, of friendly fire. Can we sell ships to pay off a bounty? Uh, yes, I believe you can use, use ships as collateral. Um, I believe I can't remember. Oh, can you sell hot ships though? Either you can sell them at a massive loss, or you can't sell them. I've forgotten. <laughs> All right. Well, we're, we're, we're both up on screen now. Um, yeah, it's just un I've got an unusual um, bit of uh, the, the display. It's just a bit strange on your screen. That's all. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> doesn't matter. Sorry uh, about that. We can worry about that later. 
Uh, fix it in post. We'll fix it in post, everyone. <laughs> Hot build. No, it's not. <laughs> All right. So I have. Uh, yes, I'm now uh, in a wing with you. You're in a wing, mate. Okay. So um, tonight we're going to go through um, a wing delivery mission. Really simple. They're very similar to the the main uh, delivery missions in the main game. But there's a few challenges we we face that. Uh, you might not even think of when you think of the idea that you actually have to overcome when uh, when looking to do these missions. So I'm just going to find a, a smaller mission so that we can potentially get to the end of it. So if you um, know, uh, talk, talk through what people might be seeing on this. Video so at the moment uh, you'll be looking at the mission board. Um, we've, as with earlier with the crime punishment stuff, we've done some fun with the servers. Um, so you will only be seeing delivery missions. Uh, you might be seeing some new stuff to do with rewards. Rewards are still being balanced, so when you look at the numbers of deliveries and that sort of thing, uh, you know, the credit rewards, they're probably going to seem quite low, but that's because we kind of tend to do that stuff towards the end. So okay. we're going to try and make it work. Let me just... There yeah, was for the purpose of demonstration, please do forgive the, um, the change the resolution that. on the screen there. Thanks a lot. So... Um, You'll see here, uh, mission looks fairly similar to normal, however, we're asked, being asked to take 355 units of basic medicines, which is Ooh. quite a lot more than you'd be asked to do before. Um, you also have reward choices, which I think we'll cover towards the end, but that's part of the changes to mm -hmm. rewards that we're doing as part of 3.0. So I'm just going to accept this at the moment, and it should go onto my transaction panel as normal. Again, it looks a little bit different um, because it's a wing mission. Um, and please excuse the, the GUI there being a little bit off. So Ed's part of my wing, so I'm just going to share now, and he should see that he gets an inbox message and uh, that mission added to his transaction panel. Oh, which I can show in just a moment. <laughs> yeah, so over here on my side, uh, as we can see, if I just stop, it goes to my transaction panel almost immediately, as you can see. Um, cool. At which point you basically get the choice to accept or reject whether ah. you want to... Uh, be part of the mission with me. Oh, do you really want to work? So I can together? see it straight away as well. That's pretty cool. So I get do you to really see. Want to see it? Do you it's really pretty and go on. You're both lovely people. You make much, a pretty lovely pair. How Just for the purposes of demonstration. Well, and even if I don't do anything, and then you just do all the work, yeah. so I get the rewards. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to team up with people who you think are going to be fair. Yes. All right, okay, and of course remember... That's actually progress, uh, quite an interesting thing. So a, a lot of times we came up against challenges with wings that actually, in the end, we had to... Well, what we're going with at the moment is that s wing missions, people are going to have to police themselves a bit. Yeah. If you invite someone to do a wing mission with you, you have to understand how they work and kind of what you're putting on the line and that people might not be nice to you. Unfortunately, yes. that's kind of the way of the world. When um, we're dealing with Commander Burt Hand Puppet, always best to keep a weather eye on oh, there and what he's up to. Which one of you is... It's you, isn't it? Ed? I'm Burt Hand Puppet. Burt Hand I'm the Puppet. real Burt Hand Puppet. <laughs> I'm Edmund. Um, Edmund? Mm -hmm. So, Sandy, you're able to read the chat while I'm trying to yes. not crash. Uh, so, if you could perhaps... Uh, are you getting an idea of what people are... Why the reward's so see? low? Because, as Adam's pointed out, we've not balanced them. We do that right at the very end. But if you keep complaining about that, I'm going to make sure they stay, though, not really. Oh, I wow. love you. Wow, I love Sandy. You. Uh, they're just... They're, they're basically... They're, they're hot numbers. Hot <laughs> That's numbers. my new phrase. It's all hot. Hot numbers, is Yeah, the, so is uh, they will be balanced uh, um, better than that. And during beta, they might... Who knows? They're probably going to yeah. be changed. I don't again. know if they can see my screen they at can. the moment. Um, yeah. But as you can see here on the transaction panel, it's a little bit different, and it shows... Um, any member of the wing that's just accepted, decided oh. to join me, is shown here with a with their lovely avatar. Me and Ed don't have ours in game at the moment. We're just faceless robots. Like but uh, the avatar would be there. We look a bit like Daft Punk at the moment, but so well, we'll go with that's that. What, that's, that's what we're going for. Um, we're, going to, we're going for the Daft Punk. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, mm -hmm. they're on there. So the next step is to pick up some stuff to carry, which mm -hmm. obviously previously, whenever we've done a delivery mission, we just give you everything. We just, we're like, take these 64 units and take them to the next place. But so we're going to see what you do on your screen, we're going to watch what you do, and then we're going to yeah. switch over to me doing the same and seeing what my view looks like after you've, okay. after you've chosen your Spider P place. says, will single player missions get the reward options too? Yes. Boom! Boom. Yes. <laughs> yes, because they're reward options. Okay. Um, hopefully... The rewards are fun size. No, they're, they're going to be bigger, OK? Just to put that out, the rewards are going to be bigger than what you see at the moment. So are you, where are you here? We can see you're in the So I'm in the mission depot, depot which ah. we needed to introduce because for a start, 355 units. Some of these missions people may have seen are in the thousands, so no ship can carry that many. So we needed a system that allowed you to come back and partially 
you know, check out a certain amount of cargo and and uh, also share it with other people. So to so see here, there's just a nice little widget that lets me oh, very, nice. very quickly. Oh, you've uh, got a lot of cargo. That's good. Pick up any cargo. So any. I'm <laughs> going to take 127 <laughs> there, cool. and I just press the button and Done. collected, and I can't do any more because the cargo full. All right, and then you would essentially finish the mission as if you were doing normal. So if we go back to me on my game, I can have a look and stop what services again. Sell orbiter, and then see. I mean, I wonder what it looks like in the transactions tab currently. So you've got that's the wing one. So <coughs> half of that—that's how much Adam picked up, isn't it? The the grey bar that you can see yeah. is the pot in is progress, showing, showing mm. in what showing the in progress stuff that you're going to because <coughs> it Excuse will be a solid me. line if you've completed it. Yeah. But it's showing that's how much you've got as well. That's how much is so kind let's of in see transit. What happens when I that's pretty cool. <coughs> that's really cool. Uh, here's a question: If I'm an elite trader, can I share an elite level mission with an elite level rewards oh. with a player of lesser trade rank? Yes. Yes, boy! Really? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. So I go in the mission board, talk me through this, talk me through this, Sonny. Okay, it's a, it's a mission board. It just goes straight to all There's the missions. There's missions on it. And then <coughs> I can see, and I just go like that. Look at that. Oh, look at the, the bar. You're collecting there. it all up. Like oh, the I can see you doing you it as well in the, in, yes. the, in the thing. This is really cool. Next to the little um, yeah. avatar. This is really good. <laughs> what I like about this is that some people have been asking for this for quite a while, haven't they? They have, it's, and it's we good. thought, you and know you what, why don't ones, we do it? The ones that are, are going to be wing, wing, wing compatible have yes. got the little wing symbol next Yeah, to which do. is currently all of them, but because, uh, because we, test. for testing purposes, we've, we've made that so. Okay. Uh, it won't be all, I of, won't them. Be all of them. I've rigged no. the dice. Yeah. Hot build. Uh, all right, uh, hot chili. Right, so now I've done that. I've accepted it, and now you can see that's changed as well to, to transit. I'm gonna then fly to uh, where are we going? Bernard Star, Bond so Star. I this, I so I'm gonna leave. So do single player missions get the same as wing missions like the progress bar? I believe that they will start to. Um, we're not going to be for 3.0. Um, you can take these missions and do them as a single person. Yes. Uh, we're not adding the cargo depots at the moment. There are some technical challenges with it. It's, it's, it's going to be an ongoing bit. process, isn't yeah. it? Uh, basically, as time goes on, hopefully we'll be starting to update more and more missions and add more and more new missions, along with other things. Oh, I've crashed. Oh. So not it won't oh, only. I thought you meant the no, no, not the game. It won't only be trade missions, though, uh, will it? There, the there are <laughs> some. Uh, there are some angry missions in there as well that are wing missions, I believe. Is that true, Adam? Uh, yep, yeah, there are massacre missions. Um, oh, don't die! He called it. He called it. There he is. Bert Hand popped back and see him. You still got shields left. What's what? he? What's how he did you stuck? manage that? I how don't know. I don't know how he managed it. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> come on, sir. You got your landing gear down, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, come on, Adam. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be able to deliver more than you, even. Will a wing mission fail if your wing except you disconnect? No. Um, so. There's Boom. quite a lot of work gone into if you leave the wing or um, um, or whatever. Um, oh, I've got a fine. I'm just trying to show off Are the. You, uh, wow! Can you please leave? He's a bad boy. I'm trying to leave. <laughs> what is He's a bad boy in the in the docking barrel. This is Watch the worst out. I've ever done. He's on fire. Honestly, look, there's nothing quite like uh, live streaming. Yeah, actually, I'm trying to point pilot. this out right. I am a rubbish pilot, but. Trying to pilot a ship whilst talk on a live stream is not easy, right? It's not easy. We're not film stars. We ought to be, but we're not. So that, that's so gone about as well that. as I said it would. Can I ask a Can I ask a question about people saying there's there's, there's somebody saying well all right, it's just it's just a progress bar. It's not really anything different to to the wing missions. There are other types of wing missions. This isn't the 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 only one that's in there, but they are they are. Well, I don't know. Tell, what, what, what types of missions are available? One. So there are, um, there are. There are. There, there's massacre there's, there's mass missions to go out and kill stuff. I believe we have massacre conflict, but I don't want to be quoted on that. Right. Uh, so that would be conflict zone going to wars. Um, there's also assassination, which are a bit more tailored to um, going. Extra power, isn't it? Yeah, th it should be a challenge rating that a group of four people. Um, sh it's going to be an engineered ship that's going to give those people a challenge. So. Uh -oh. That's MPC's getting the hands of engineering more. again. Look what happened last time. It's Skynet coming to get us. It's going to be ace. So we've got a little bit of a mix of monster. Um, the kind of normal missions you see where the, the numbers are up to and that sort of thing, as well as some more kind of hey. missions that require a lot more teamwork. Cringe at my hat. But it, but it allows, but that's the thing. So I think it just basically allows it to be, uh, it just the day-to-day -day stuff that you're doing when you're completing missions and you're yep. out there doing missions, you can now do together. And yes. I think that that, and, I think it, it it's done in a sleek, nice way. If you don't mind me yep. saying, 
uh, in a very easy to access way and you saw how immediate the changes are when I'm doing things and you're doing things how quickly that's updating on my yeah. end as well and I think that well there's of course as beta tests will show as well uh, hopefully that will be effective for, for the, the, all the players agreed can you tell me to calm down um, calm down Sandy okay I'm calm so okay. It's calm. No, no, he's excited because he's excited. They're good. They're good the, stuff. This is the happiest I've seen him all day because he's finally got his bit done. <laughs> <laughs> it's me who can't get out of the, get out of the dock now. Well, this you've actually you've made it out of there now, yeah. okay? Because you've got more work to do than me. Uh, again, keep in mind that, um, well, obviously, thank you so much, everyone, for uh, the... Loop of shame. You're going to be doing lots of testing for us, those who are playing the PC game. Uh, there will be incentives as well in the uh, throughout the beta to get people playing. You you can yes, yeah, someone just asked. Sorry, I forgot your name. Can I take these missions as a single player? You can take a wing mission as a single player and complete it as a single player, right? Yes, you can. And it is because it is persistent in terms of there's a mission to deliver 500 tons of cargo. If you've got a ship that can only carry 50 tons, you can just keep doing backwards and forwards until you've completed so it. That's one of the cool the, things uh, about and, it, yeah. And the raw rewards will be. And the rewards uh, will be what they should be, right? Which uh, is lots. For, for, so if it's for four you, players or whatever, okay. it is effectively, yeah. Uh, it's all about balancing and making yes. sure that, yeah. And I'm sure that I'm sure yeah. that kind of that, um, that the, mi the, the, the mission car, the mission depot is is pretty cool for that. And as Alan put it out, not every mission will gain the, mi the mission cargo, in, uh, the mission depot immediately. But it's something that over time we'll be phasing in more and more because we think it's a cool idea. Yeah, quick reminder for those who've just turned up and maybe uh, just joining us. Uh, today we're talking about Crown Punishments, and he's already talked us through that. And we're also showing off and showcasing uh, how wing missions will work uh, at their very basic thing. This isn't the only, these aren't the only two things that are coming in, uh, although they're quite large changes. They're uh, pretty big. For, for the quarter one, chapter yeah, one. Yeah, which is the small update. update. Is it really? Yeah, this it's is the small, small one. This is the smaller update of the of the of the two. Wow. Okay, um, yeah, the there's next a couple one, of updates in between, and then a, a big one. Yeah, yeah. So th this uh, three, th the update three is good. It's going to have a lot. It's going to have tons of stuff in it. This is just part of it. And then there's well, like more I say, we're going to be covering over the next. We've got loads of stuff to cover. We still, love the this chieftain, game. Planetary visual improvements, yeah. trade data improvements, tech broker, engineers, and all the changes coming to engineers, material trader, Galnet audio, and more as well. Yeah. And we're going to be talking about those in the next couple of streams, one on Thursday and one on Tuesday. So this is just part of what's coming yeah. as well. We just knew that it would take a while to explain it, yeah. and we only have so much time here in the office before the security guard throws us out. Yeah. So um, right, what should, should we finish? Basically, let's finish this mission. How, okay. how, how many runs is it going to take? Do you think? Um, well, with your, your speed, yeah. it'll take a good no, it's another take a while, yeah. You're at the wrong place, apparently. You get the wrong Me? Place? Did I, I really know. go to the wrong place? I don't know. Someone oh, just said I it. I was definitely paying attention. Oh, no, maybe I'm not the maybe at the wrong place. Yeah. This would be the perfect time to do the speed ducking thing, but you're not going to do it. So. I am going to do it. You're going to do it? Yeah. Go! Because I went to the wrong place, uh, right. apparently, which is very, very embarrassing. So you're going to um, do your... Gonna... For the purpose of... Uh, we're going to go to Adam's screen here. I Have I gone to the wrong place? Uh, oh, because it's on a flat surface, the delivery. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. boy. I chose oh, yeah. poorly. You did choose poorly. That's all right. So I'll, oh, I that might not. You, you'll need to go, go to the location. Go to the location, and then you do it. Maybe I'll just select a mission. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'll just select a mission. Oh. Yeah. The other, the other thing we can do is I can go to the transaction panel um, and just talk about how the kind of uh, mission reward choice stuff mm, goes. Yeah, definitely do that because that needs to be talked about. Yes. Thank you. Thanks, Adam. So much. He's not up there anymore. Damn. Adam, uh, I'm there. I'm not although down. I am on a planet surface, You've so. Got the screen. Go ahead. I might crash. Um, so, <laughs> as you'll see on the transaction panel here, the mission has three reward choices. Yeah. So, in this case, it's credits. Uh, the middle one is an increased amount of reputation gained, and the final one is is a material. Um, you'll notice they all have reputation influence as well. Um, so, you have a baseline of those sort of things. So you'll always get a small amount of reputation, small amount of influence, and then when you complete the mission at the end, you basically get the choice of which one of those you want. One of them will always be that kind of um, larger credit amount. It will be the baseline reputation, baseline influence, and then mm. a credit amount. So that gives everyone a kind of out. We've always had this issue with missions of sometimes people weren't, didn't used to be able to hand stuff in because they didn't have the cargo space or they haven't got the material space. Um, so now there's always that get out clause of just taking the credits um, and there's just more choice. So there's um, there's a whole pool of different things that you can generate so it won't be those every time. There could be could be cargo, it could be materials, it could be increased influence which might be interesting for the background sim players out there. Ah, um, and, and do you think <coughs> that, that people teaming up it's going to have a bit more, uh, as in you probably get the larger reward than as if you were doing lots of single missions yourself? Is that the idea? Yeah. 
some of the rewards are going to be pretty huge. Yeah, so the idea right? is, is the, that... the challenges are going to be bigger. You, you get that choice, so if you want to be playing with the background sim, you might want to go around and be taking missions that give influence. So um, on the mission board as well, if you can see those choices before you take a mission. Okay. So you have the choice to... Well, I can demonstrate that right now, because I'm in the wrong place. Um, Aaron Bishop, can Wings accept multiple missions at the same time? And I believe... It's a good question. Can wings uh, missions they... at the same time? So each person each in person, a wing yeah, can, can a... share one mission. Yes. So that means you can have basically up to four going at the same time. Yeah. Four missions going at the That's same time to stuff. deliver... It, okay, it, so it could be delivery, could... it could be massacre, it could be yeah. all those sort of and things. And again, we want to make it very clear that this stuff is still very much in... Uh, well, this is alpha. So when it comes to you guys uh, in beta, it will still be in a, a, a testing stage I, it, yes. it will need to have a lot of changes and, and and it's all down to how much you guys play it and, and the feedback that you give us that will uh, yeah absolutely I can't stress that enough find that right yeah as we, I said, we haven't done this for a while because it is actually quite a difficult task with four yeah. different people working on the same mission at the same time it, yeah, brings, sure. it brings together so many new fresh edge cases that that we have to deal with so I, I would expect in the beta we're going to come across some bugs that of the like that we've never seen before, but mm. uh, that's the point of why we're starting out with these kind of quite simple missions as well. It kind of gives us a place to kind of work from, and th this is the first set of wing missions. Yeah. And if they work and they work well and we people can, like them, then them. absolutely. Then there's an argument for doing more, doing doing other ones. What happens if one of your wing dies while transporting the cargo? Okay, so it's a good um, question. Well done. Whoever said that. I don't know who you are, sorry. So once you get you. to a certain level of completion on a mission, um, the person who started the mission has something called the Parcel Complete button. So there is the option if, for example, you've got 90% of the cargo delivered but you're about to and land, someone so has... Uh, it probably won't be available that yet, but... Not 90%. Uh, yeah, it, I, there is a certain amount you have to... Get used to and again. Also, that's a threshold which yeah. I imagine we'll be thinking it will probably be moving yep. up and down as as we go into testing. Terrible docking. Well, you're like <laughs> the long, the long you got way it, you as well. It. You need to turn around. Oh. You've done it again, Adam. You did this before. I did, yeah. And the pressures of the stream. The pressures of the stream. <laughs> Always Look, follow it's, your it's, nose. It's not an. It's not an easy. <laughs> Hold on, are you Gandalf? <laughs> uh, all right, as you can see on my screen anyway. Um, so interesting. Dave, Devon Bell, how does Beyond address rampant combat logging? It hopefully will, just not at the moment. Not in, and not we're not talking about that in this particular okay. live stream. So uh, we can see on Adam's screen as well. Uh, please do. Power play open when? That's a that's a bit of a grenade. <laughs> nothing, um, nothing to add at the moment. Yeah. All right. So you're going to. So here I am delivering some items. As you can see, there is that partial delete button that is uh, marked red at the moment because. Uh, I think that that little line there in the middle, I think it is about halfway through, is where partial complete, oh, complete yeah, comes yeah, open. That, yeah. um, so if you partially complete, there's a few important things that occur. So um, you will only be able to choose the credit reward, and you will get a percentage of that credit reward equal to the amount of the mission you completed. So if you complete 90% of the mission, you won't get a choice, uh, and you'll get 90% of the credits, because it's kind of the only way we can really deal with that. Um, also, if someone has taken cargo um, and not delivered it when the mission's partially completed, uh, they will receive a fine for equal to the amount of cargo that they've taken. Um, so we wanted, it's quite a difficult one, this. We had to have quite a lot of discussion yeah, about how, be lots of discussions how, on how this one. should work because uh, there's several ways you could go about this, but they discourage piracy, that sort of thing, but also we need to make sure that there isn't a way to kind of generate cargo. It's, it's quite a kind of difficult, muddy field. So uh, feedback from Peter obviously would be excellent if people if, see how it goes. Um, but the idea is that if you check something out, you are responsible for that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and again, if people are using that to kind of affect each other in a negative way, there is the kind of self-policing thing of if someone has done that to you, then perhaps you don't wing with them or accept their wing mission invites again okay. in the future. Yeah. Unfortunately. Um, interesting. That's well. That's a bit more like yeah. real life, where you'd be like, okay, well, yeah. you're out of the gang. That that is you know, that's exactly it. Sometimes if you didn't do anything, you're out of the gang, and you can see very clearly how much people have uh, contributed as well. Like if you go to yeah, uh, you go to the transactions tab, you can see, click on it, you can see I've done 32, or I've got 32 in transit, 
you, you've completed 127. And you've got a little king symbol. Is that because you're the owner of the I'm the, the owner of this mission. Of that mission. Which oh, means cool. I'm the only one who can do that partial completion as well. Ah, uh, okay, that's interesting. And then yeah. I see, yeah, that's why I, didn't, I wasn't even given the option to do so. Okay, well, fantastic stuff. Um, Boom. I'm looking forward to seeing it basically in the, uh, in, in, in the game, in, in people's hands. Uh, and of course, remember, I want to say one, one thing as well before, as, as we keep, uh, keep going. But running towards the end of this stream now. Thank you so much, Sandy. Really? You're yes, welcome. And thank you. Thank so you. Much. You're I thank apologize you. for my terrible flying. Oh, do not apologize for your terrible flying. Oops. I want to say something. Yeah, I thank. <laughs> well done. Because honestly, being on these streams, look, it's no joke. We're in front of four thousand people, four thousand plus people, <laughs> uh, and it's hot. It is. It is. It's a bit of pressure when yeah, you're trying to fly and control the game and control the stream. So thank you so much for being awesome, sport, great sports, and thank you for coming along. Please do let us know in the forums, and also we'll be posting up a forum uh, post very shortly with details about what you just heard, but in a written format with links and hopefully timestamps depending on, on how quickly the, the YouTube video uploads in the background so you can check it out. Uh, I want to say uh, that, that this is just the first of a three-parter stream essentially. On Thursday stream, 18th uh, of the first this, this year, uh, we have, not next year, that'd be strange, wouldn't it? <laughs> we have details on the Chieftain. So we're going to be showing off the Chieftain oh inside and out. I'm going to miss that. I'm going to be flying it, I'm sorry. Uh, we then have the uh, planetary visual improvements. I'm going to be the first person to ever fly the Chieftain on stream. Look at ah, that. He's all job. over it. Pecs of the job. Right, none of your hacking. Ed. No, 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 I'll be turning all the hacks off. There'll be no hacks for that one. They wouldn't let me do it. Then we it have otherwise. the trade data improvements, the tech broker, which nobody knows what that is yet. So tech it's broker. Be fun to tell people about that. Ooh, and nice. some more stuff as well, which I'd rather save for the stream for you to, to see it first. Oh, hand. you're such a tease. <laughs> and That's then like on uh, next Tuesday stream, the 23rd, we have engineers, the material trader, Galnet or Audio, and again, even more to show off. So it's very exciting. Please do give us your feedback in um, in the forums, and um, maybe in the thread when we post it, what you thought about it. We know that it's going to be a hot topic. We know, beef to we know that these two things are going to be, uh, are going to be, uh, uh, the Chieftain Beef to very good. Yes. We know that these two topics are going to be hot topics. Yes. We understand that. As Sandy says, we fundamentally believe that these are going to be uh, improvements for the game yeah. in terms of its long-term health. Exactly. Which is wonderful stuff. Uh, but please do um, come along. Let us know what you think. Please, please tell us. And it sounds like you you like it from reading the chat. Uh, well, I, I mean, I don't want to talk all, too all, soon. We, we, the only reason I that we get to soon, do... I spoke too soon. I there is that, but the only reason that we're, we're doing what we're doing is because of the awesome feedback that we're getting. Yeah. I just want to keep reiterating yeah. that. And thank you for the support that you're giving us for the game, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, there's still loads of people playing it and buying it and hopefully having a lot of fun. So yeah. thank you very much for allowing us to do what we do, yeah, which I, 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 we kind of love. Honestly, like I said, I know that it's a hot topic and there's, there's, there's uh, people on both sides uh, uh, of this. Of course there is. Of course there's always discussion and that's why we like it, because they're passionate and they care. Passion is important. Thank you so In much, all community people. A giveaway, says Captain Crazy. Why not? Come Let's on, give a I wanted drop. a giveaway. Uh, should we give away a paint job pack the money can't buy? G really? Seriously? Can you do that? What is, yes. What's that? So if you go to the community events prize pack forums, there are some <gasps> community event prize packs in there that you can't buy on the store. There are things from previous events that we've run and stuff like that. So someone can post a link to that in there, they can see it, and then the forums just die. But if you stick around and you say, hashtag, hot build. Hot build! Say hashtag yeah. hot, build, hot build. And then we're going to pick something uh, at random, one of you in the chat, and remember you can only say it once and then stop saying because otherwise, yes, you'll otherwise get you off, just get it. We'll break that's it, right? Yeah. So say, so, uh, so, and then you'll be able to pick one of those after you PM Here us comes. from your account to this account. Ghosts. You can throw some ghosts in there as well, as well if you want. Some ghost emojis would be hot stuff. Yes. Uh, and then come back with us. Uh, uh, some, come back with us. I'm just <laughs> trying to read the chat at the same time as speaking. So, and he also just says hot build repeatedly. Oh, is that hot build. <laughs> Um, ah, Wolf Onigan's posted the link. Thank you. It's got lost amongst very many hot builds. <laughs> Too many hot builds. Too so, many hot builds. So, uh, <laughs> how many um, hot builds is too many hot builds? I don't, I don't know. No such thing. Adam, will you come back again sometime? Yeah, I'll, I'll try and improve my flying. Oh, next time. no, no, no. It's, it's Honestly, it's a very scary thing. Oh, we've got some ghosts. Very good. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, boy. All right. No more speaking. No more. That's no it. No more hot stopping. build. No more stuff. Right, the build is it's official. Thank, build you guys. Hot. Thank you so much. And I'm going to pick somebody at random to win in about 10 seconds' time. Uh, hot. Uh, lots of people said that. Thank you very much. And we need a random number generator. Oh, right. I love this bit. Da, 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 this is technical. Da, 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 this is where the rubber hits the road. Da, 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 this is madness. Da, 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 this is Sparta. Da, 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 
Yeah. What, what are you doing? Uh, it's too powerful. Uh, mm -hmm. And then the thing. Is the oh thing. my goodness. Oh, we have it. Right, okay, and that is the number. My, uh, I shouldn't have seen that. Oh no, I can't do that. I'm going to go around the other way because it takes too long. <laughs> and this is the very technically uh, appropriate thing. It's exciting, it's hot. Oh gosh. There we go, we got it. Okay. T Paul. T. T Paul, well done. T, capital T, capital P, lowercase o, lowercase l. Thank you so much for saying hashtag hot build, all one word as well. Did you just win good. something that money can't buy? You won something that money can't buy. Uh, I'm jealous. So, T Paul, yeah. what do you need to do that. to claim your prize is email community. Hold on. First of all, send a PM from your account, with this your YouTube account. Credit card details. With your and your mother's maiden name. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Send your uh, a PM from your account, this YouTube account that you're using right now, to this YouTube account you're watching. So head over to the youtube.com for slash elite dangerous. You'll find the way to message us in there. Send a message. And then uh, you can uh, send us in that the email address that you will be using to contact us and your commander name as well. And then that way, pick. Pick from the list that Will Flanagan's going to use. If you click that big blue arrow, you can go all the way to the bottom. Uh, Will Flanagan is going to post it in the chat. Uh, and, yeah, it, make sure you uh, pick something from that list, a prize pack that you want to win, and then send us the details of it through that PM. And also emails community at frontier.co.uk, but we will be verifying you as well through that YouTube channel, so you can't just randomly email us to see if you'll get away with winning, because you won't. All right. Uh, that was yeah, powerful stuff. Wow. There, there will be lots more giveaways, as in probably one more each per stream, <laughs> one at the end of a Tuesday's a Thursday stream, and one at the end of the following Tuesday stream as well. So thank you again so much for coming along, and thank you, Sandy, for being such a wonderful it's sport. Always a pleasure. Can't wait to show you all of the stuff, including the Chieftain, on Thursday. It's only two days away that we're going to be showing that. And then only a week after that, you'll be getting hands-on uh, if you are a PC player as well. No more details on when it will be coming to PS4 and Xbox One, but it will be coming with the release alongside the PC. Uh, in previous month, previous times, well, you know, it's going to be a nice long beta because there's lots to be tested here. Yeah. Um, but we'll let you know stuff. as soon as we've got more information on exactly when it's going to be ready. It's ready when it's ready. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's already when it, it's already when it's ready. I have no idea why you put that on. That was really weird. Uh, sorry, a little bit Adam. suspect. Sorry, 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 sir. Uh, all right, guys. Well, thanks a lot, and um, yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye. -bye. bye.